What's up YouTube? Welcome to another email tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about images and how they render in Microsoft Outlook. Now I have recently come across this problem. Last year this wasn't happening to me so I don't know if it's something that Outlook have changed in the way they render their emails um, but I found a way to stop it and I think everybody should do this so I'm just going to show you how. So what was happening is I actually I designed an email on behalf of a client. They sent it out to a lot of people. Luckily, it was a staggered send, so they only sent a couple of hundred at a time. And after the first send, we noticed that in Microsoft Outlook, all of the images were breaking out of their 600 pixel container, and they were full screen, just the entire size of the screen. Even tiny little PNG icons that I had that were supposed to be, you know, little icon, little bit of text they were just ginormous and it looked absolutely ridiculous. It was actually really embarrassing. Um, and the reason I'm telling you this is because these things happen and it's okay as long as you, you sort of show willing and fix it as quickly as possible. So I stayed up quite late that night trying to figure out how to do it and I solved it and we sort of re-updated the HTML and everything's fine, client's happy, no problem. So don't panic when this happens, but this is how to fix it. So this is my old style of coding images at the top, this block here. So all we have is a row with a cell with a background color, um, just to show the background color of the image that I've got, you know, in case it doesn't load or whilst it's loading, it shows that background color. Then I have an image tag here, right? So my image tag starts here and it says the image source. And then this is where I've hosted my image, easy peasy. And then inside that image tag, I'm telling it to be 100% width. So it should take its parent element. So its parent is the cell. The cell's parent is the row. The row's parent is the body. The body's parent is the table, which is 100%. And the table's parent is this cell, my main content cell, which is 600 pixels wide. So it should be 600 pixels wide because I'm saying it, it should be 100%. The height is automatic, so it will just constrain the proportions. Border is zero. And, and then I have a tiny bit of style, a little style tag in here just to say its display property should be blocked. So it should fill up that whole section. And then my mobile class and then just some alt text, right? Close the cell, close the row. That has worked for me for about the last eight years, no problems, okay? Now it doesn't. I don't know why, but it doesn't. So this is, you know, this stuff happens really annoyingly, you know, Outlook or Gmail or something will just change the way they render something and then we have to sort of adapt to it. So try and, you know, keep on top of stuff. Um, a really good place to stay on top of things is the, uh, the Litmus forums, which I'll link down below. And if you ever have a problem, you can usually search and somebody's found a solution immediately. Um, some very clever people in there and everyone's really nice. It's a great community. Here's how we fix it. Right, new style. So everything's the same, right? Row, we've got a cell, background color, image source. And then instead of telling it to be width 100%, I'm telling it to be 600 pixels. Now, you might think that that would then break when the screen goes smaller. So when we go into mobile devices, it's still trying to be 600 pixels. But don't worry about that because our mobile class will overwrite that. So I'm telling it that it should be 600 pixels, no more, no less. Height's still automatic, border is still zero. And then inside our style tag now, we've got display block as usual, but what we're adding in is a max width property. So telling its maximum width should be 600 pixels and then saying width 100% and also adding the border in here as well. And rather than writing it border equals quote zero, it's now when it's in the style tag, it should be border dash style is none. Okay, that's all you need to do. This will now work everywhere. This is like a bulletproof image system. So if you had like a smaller image, maybe it was like a circle PNG with someone's face in it, and it was 150 pixels squared, right? All you do is you just take this code, paste your image in here, tell this width to be 150, and then display block max width, maximum width should be 150 it's always going to stay at 100 percent you just leave that and that should be it you just need to make sure you're stating its size both inside the image tag and inside the style block which is also inside the image tag so the image tag starts here and it ends here so just inside there you need to make sure you've got the the size written twice okay but I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this file in the description below so if I delete that stuff and I will just leave this so you guys can copy and paste this and then just change your images and you should have no problems so hopefully that was helpful 
um, a nice, quick, easy one. I don't want anybody to have the same problem I did because I was pretty nervous when it broke because it's it's never happened before. So I had to just trial and error. Um, and to do that, I signed back up for a Litmus account. So I have a Litmus account, but I wasn't doing too much email stuff. Um, I was doing mainly web stuff, so I cancelled it because I couldn't really justify the cost. Um, but I paid for it for a month just to make sure that I could test this in every single situation. And I did. It was worth the money. It was like $80 or something. But it saved saved my bacon, basically. Um, so, yeah, you know, sometimes you've got to spend money to make money. Sometimes things go wrong. You know, accidents happen. That's fine. But just as long as you're proactive in sorting it out and you're honest about it with the client, in my um my experience everything's fine you know no one died so it's all good it's just an email don't worry about it anyway hope you found this helpful see you in the next video